On May 18, 2010, the technical delivery of the Suriname Guyana submarine cable system took place. The fiber optic submarine cable, which spans over 1,200 kilometers, is laid on the sea floor, running from Trinidad to Suriname, extending also to Guyana. The realization and activation of the fiber optic submarine cable is a historic moment for Telesur and Suriname. Hiermede hebben wij Telesur en GTNT gedemonstreerd dat partnerschap en regionale bundeling van hulpmiddelen efficiënter is, zelfs in een concurrerende omgeving. En dat het kan bijdragen tot voordelen voor alle klanten. We hebben alles gedaan volgens internationale procedures en standaarden. Dat is, was een must, maar dat we het zo gerealiseerd hebben, we Suriname, daar ben ik ook trots op. This new fiber optic submarine cable with a 25-year lifespan has over 1,000 times more capacity than the Telesur capacity on the Americas 2 cable. Telesur has been connected on the Americas 2 since the year 2000. On December 29th, Telesur and its partner GT&T signed a contract with Global Marine Systems Limited from the United Kingdom for the implementation of the Suriname-Guyana submarine cable system. The cable is manufactured in Norway by the company Nexans. In China, the sea cable equipment is manufactured by Huawei. Both companies are subcontractors of Global Marine. The construction of this new submarine cable system involves an investment of 54 million U.S. dollars. Telesur's share is 30 million U.S. dollars and GT&T's share 24 million U.S. dollars. Eco Engineering, an internationally renowned company, implements an environmental impact study which has been adopted by the National Environment Institute, NIMOS. The study shows that there will be no considerable impact on the environment in Koroni during the laying of the submarine cable. NIMOS also keeps a watchful eye when contractor UCC carries out directional drillings whereby the land cable is pulled through under the creeks. In Norway, the sea cable is loaded onto the CS Sovereign, which departs to the Caribbean region. To configure the submarine cable system, provide electric power and link it to the national telecom network, a landing station is needed. At Totnes in District Koroni, Telesur constructs a landing station and beach manhole, which applies to international standards. In Guyana, the Telesur partner, GTNT, also constructs a landing station and beach manhole. I think, you know, as two companies that haven't come from being government owned uh, to being in the competitive industry, and more so knowing our country and having the heart of developing our countries, I think between us and Telesu, we were two very good partners to work with each other. Columbus Networks is the landing partner of Telesur, which sees to it that Telesur, or in other words, Suriname, is connected to other networks in the world through its landing stations in Trinidad and Miami. This exciting new link will have a powerful impact, both in terms of Suriname and Guyana, but also Trinidad and beyond because the 21 countries that we currently serve, uh, Telesur will have the ability to connect through our network to any one of those 21 countries, and the same holds true for those 21 countries. The district Koroni, where the submarine cable has its landing point, receives a gift from Telesur. The cultural center Koroni will be renovated, and a fully equipped ICT center will be added. U begrijpt wat voor betekenis het heeft voor dit district om dit gedaan te krijgen. En nu al zeg ik dank aan de directeur die met het initiatief is gekomen om een blijvend cadeau aan Coroni te geven. Pulling the cable from the barge to land during the pre-shore landing is a great challenge because of the muddy coast in Coroni. 
Due to extreme strain on the cable because of the mud, the cable line breaks a few times. The landing activities took approximately two months. United Caribbean Contractors, a Surinamese company, lays a second land cable for Telesur between the districts Nikeri and Marueno. With the construction of this second land cable, a physical ring is created, so in case of damage to one of the land cables, the service can continue uninterrupted. During the preparation phase, in all districts through which the land cable is installed, meetings and discussions are held with the local people and all those involved, hereby including the local communities in the project. There were no personal injuries during the project. On May 18, 2010, the technical delivery of the SGSCS project by Global Marine to Telesur takes place. On May 28th, a ceremony is held in honor of the technical delivery. The technical delivery is followed by a three-month test period, after which the project will be delivered in its entirety. The submarine cable system has a 25-year lifespan. I was in the beginning a lot of money, just because it was a very big amount of money. And so a amount of money, not just out of it. You will certainly have to be responsible, with name as a board. You are responsible for the aan de houder toe, dat is de staat Suriname. En aan de weg het project, ja, wist men het vertrouwen van de raad te winnen. Wat wil this extra capacity mean for business? Je bent als Telesur internationaal op de kaart geplaatst. En de aansluitingen van Suriname naar het buitenland, maar ook omgekeerd. Vanuit het buitenland naar Suriname kunnen hierdoor beter en sneller bewerkstelligd worden. Primair is het voor de gebruiker een verbetering van de kwaliteit. Ik zou als eerst zeggen dat onderbrekingen tot het minimale beperkt zijn. The Suriname Guyana Submarine Cable System is the proof of daring enterprise. The Suriname Guyana Submarine Cable System is the largest investment in Telesur's history. The investments of the sea and land cable amount to 53.5 million US dollars, which Telesur financed out of its own resources. Nou, ik moet zeggen dat ik daar uh, heel tevreden over ben, over uh, de uitvoering. Uh, omdat we binnen het uh, budget de uitvoering hebben kunnen laten plaatsvinden. En als het gaat om uh, de tijd, ook redelijk uh, binnen de tijd. Overal gezien uh, ben ik heel tevreden over het uh, projectteam. Gefeliciteerd aan u allen. Felicitaties aan de Surinaamse gemeenschap. Felicitaties aan Surinamers overal ter wereld, want nu zijn we heel dichtbij.